start. Okay, block wound. Block is wound. Hang on. A he, he should be out of the way by the time we get going. Okay, we got uh, start position, batteries on, fuel is on. Key is, in. Key is in. I've got the cycle, you've got the clock and the trigger. Okay, we're, we're getting ready to start now. Uh, Craig, are you uh, on the phone back there? Yes, sir, I am. Okay, okay good enough. Just wanted to make sure I could communicate with you. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, go through the start sequence now. All right, yes, sir. Hey, I got the controls. You got the controls. Arc is running. Okay, we got voltage. You're going uh, 15 volts and building. All right, good. Come and blades are turning. Blades moving. Now. Thirty percent. Okay. Forty forty release. And five hundred to start. Okay. Yeah, look good. Okay, engine idle. All right. Sidling about 66%. All right, and you have all controls. Generators off, I got the controls. You have all controls, okay. I'm caged. Next thing is inverter switch into main. Inverter's coming to main. Okay, engine transmission oil pressure's check. All right, we got good pressure on both. Okay, everything's pointing at nine o'clock. We're good to go. All right, uh, avion or engine run up. Avionics are on. Okay, so basically we turn that off. This, this is on standby right now. Radios on. Okay, radios are on. Okay, based on avionics are on. Starter generator switch to standby. It's in standby. Okay, just check one more time. Everything is in the green. And looking at 9 o'clock all the way across. Good voltage. Okay. RPM 66. Coming up. realized over here. I can hardly see that. From oh, really? Right <laughs> the display? Yeah. Yeah, the display for me. It's, I have a hard time seeing the 1200 on it. That's something new. Yeah. Okay, uh, hit check. Okay, temperature. Looks like it's uh, 29 or so. Just call it 30. 
Okay, the hit check for uh, 30 is 92.4516. All right, that was the same thing it was the other day. You've got the controls. I have the controls. Okay, force, force from the identified coming off. All right, it's off. Okay. Now, Craig, I don't know if you guys do a hit check or not. This is just our... Uh, Oh, yes, sir, we no, do, every together. single time. Okay, all okay. right. So, Although we've got a uh, computer system called the IV Hong that helps us through the process. Gotcha, okay. Okay, so I'm on the controls. Jack's on the gauges. I'm coming up. I'm clearing outside, okay? And we're starting about 88. 92.4 we're looking for. You got a tailwind a little bit. Yeah. So. Keep in mind, you've got ground hand handling wheels on your right. Got him. Got him. Got Coming up to 90. Go ahead and come up a little more. Yep, a little more. It's at, uh, just a little over 90% right now. Come on. A little more. A little more. A little more. A little more. Oops, sorry about that. I was blocking you. 91 and a half. 90. 91 and a half. 91 and a half. 91 and a half. A little bit, a little bit. Hold down, and looking at, uh, boy, about plus zero, I mean, literally, about 515. Okay. All right. Park this cover back down. Force shows identify, comes back on. Okay, yeah, that's recorded. Controls. Yeah, the controls. I got the controls. All right, hover taxi check. Engine transmission pressure check is still good. Pressures are still in the green. Okay. All right, flight instruments check. I'm level, I'm squawking. Uh, 3017, zero SP. Let me set the compass here right quick for the five seconds that it will stay where it belongs. Okay. All right, power check as required. We're good to go. All right. We're looking for takeoff, RPM 66. 600. Okay, systems check one more time. Everything looks good. Good. AV access required. Crew passing your mission equipment in the back. Ready in the rear, doors are secure. Okay. All right, I'm going to four. All right, our little man down there is- Okay, force uh, trim still on. Still sitting there doing his checklist, so. Force trim is coming off. My plan is just hover forward. Swing the nose around and we'll take off from the, from okay. the uh, wind shock. Right. Unless he calls. Are you want force trim on or off? Off. Okay, okay. force trim identify coming off. Okay, good. Command 36, I'm going take it off. All right, six, two, six. All right, let's just uh, pick this thing up and cover a little bit. How's that? All right, everybody ready back there, Mike? Yep, ready to go. Yes, sir. Doors pinned? Yes, doors pinned. All right, coming up. We'll move forward to the big ramp and then turn the tail to the left. Okay, get clear up and forward. Clear ramp up. Coming forward. Airfield, you have a Cessna 195 that is three miles south of the field, transition the airspace from east to west. Tail's coming left. Yeah, Tail's clear, clear left. left. Tail's coming right. Tail's clear right. Good breeze today. Hampton Traffic Legacy Helicopter 1014 Hotel Fox Trot. Uh, crossing the runway and taxiway Alpha 4 for uh, the North Grass area. Runway is clear right. Runway is clear left and right. And I didn't start a clock, but... I got uh, 20... This is the Alpha 236, Alpha 5 is the park, runway 6, for 1,500 feet. MSL for uh, the park to the east, northeast, heads up. You don't get this down to the Blackhawk. 
You know what? <laughs> you don't get this sound in the Blackhawk. It's uh, something special. <laughs> we always thought so. do is I'm going to accelerate forward. We're actually in a bit of a downwind condition, but uh, we'll just see where ETL happens to feel like it is. And then we'll stop it and turn around. So here we go. There we go, right there. About 20 knots. And then we're going to slow her back down. Back in, the power's coming up. All right, tail's coming to the right now. Clear right. Yes, sir. We've got loose tape down here on the T. All right, I'll back up away from it. Okay. pulling about 35 pounds of torque, 34, to hover here into the wind. So another ETL demonstration, going forward and then slow it back. Just a touch of power, lower the nose, hold it level to the ground, and you can feel it when it lifts, see? And then I took a spot out here ahead of me, and I'll slow it down. It's coming out of ETL now. And we're at a hover. Now this is in ground effect hover. Uh, someone asked about that earlier. I'm going to raise it up to 50 feet. It's taking about 35 pounds to hover here at 3 feet. Here we go up to 50. Okay, right up. 50 feet just about the top of these trees. Yeah. You can see it takes... Yeah, we're at 42 right now. Yeah. 40, 42. It takes uh, another seven pounds of uh, torque just to hold it up here. So there's considerable difference in the capability of the aircraft, especially based on the load and the wind. And ground effect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that part. <laughs> Now, we did a lot of out-of-ground effect stuff in Vietnam. It was a regular thing to resupply people that were buried down in the trees and stuff. But you just had to watch the weight that you were carrying. Okay. I'm going to just make a takeoff and make a traffic pattern. Yeah, I say left, tra left traffic or right traffic? I'll go left. Coming around, I just want to check the final out here. Hampton traffic, legacy helicopter 104 Hotel Foxtrot, departing northeast from the north grass, left closed traffic. All right, on the go. Tail 38. Going through 40 knots. And 70 knots. And you're down to about 35 now. Okay. I'll extend out a little bit past the houses. Left. 
Mission to back.
sell all of them. Yeah,